chili that I ground up. I'm going to grind it up some more, but I'm going to put the chili that I ground up inside of the strainer and I put a bowl at the bottom of the strainer so that the grease won't get caught up in my sink. So um, that's what I'm going to do next. Let's see, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to just let the grease fall at the bottom of the, um, the, bottom of the bowl so it can drain. Next, I'm gonna saute down um, my vegetables and cook my vegetables down because I do not like hard vegetables inside of my food. So I always try to saute my vegetables down because I like my vegetables nice and soft. Um, that's the kind of feel I like to give um, in my meal. Um, I'm also gonna add some garlic um, inside of there. And I'm also gonna add some um, some green onions in there. Uh, this, right, this right here is just plain white onions and bell peppers. Okay now, next I'm gonna um, use my dice, I'm gonna put my diced tomatoes in. Then I'm gonna come back with y'all when I'm done dumping my diced tomatoes. I drained most of the can of it, but I'm gonna come back when I'm done, done with that y'all. Diced tomatoes in, and I also added my um, seasoning, my um, chili seasoning in, I'm gonna show y'all what seasoning I use in here. Next, um, I'm gonna keep stirring this up, guys, until I get it where it needs to be. I'm cooking, and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna show you the seasoning I'm using. I use this um, this chili season from Save a Lot. Uh, I think it was only like a couple of cents, like thirty something cents, I think. And I'm gonna come back when I'm done, y'all. Okay guys, so this is the finishing results of the chili. I'm gonna make this up with some rice and cornbread. And um, you can also serve it with crackers or whatever you prefer to serve it with. What you serve it with um, the extra stuff that I put in there. I added beans and I added stewed tomatoes and I added that, um, I added some body of season, complete seasoning in it and a, a small pinch of Tony's Creole seasoning. And that's it um, for this chili um, recipe. recipe um, I'm hoping to, uh, if you guys would like more um, cooking videos, um, I will bring more and I'm gonna show you um, what's the, the rest of the food I'm gonna cook, so stay tuned. Okay guys, just wanted to show you my Save a Light haul that I got. That I, got. I got these, um, hash browns that I want to make for my son for breakfast some days. Um, it's, it's actually a 20 pack, so it should last for a while. Um, I got these cheese bits. I got two bags of these um, hot chills. We just went and got little small things. We didn't get a lot of stuff. Cause I really went in there to get, get the stuff for my lasagna that I'm making tonight. Um, I got some meat sauce pasta hunts. I have some more meat sauce pasta hunts. And a traditional sauce. And I have four cans of these sweet peas just to have stocked up. Uh, I also have a couple of cans of these chicken Vienna sausages. This is a favorite um, in my house for my kids. We really, me and my kids really love these. Um, and I got shop cheese for the pasta. And I also got this Italian style, um, style cheese for the pasta. Um, I also got some creamy whip, uh, which is like whipped cream. Um, and I got a pack of saltine crackers, which is another favorite in my house. They like to eat it with like potted meat. 
I got some potted meat the other day and they like to eat that with a snack. So I got that. And I also have this garlic bread that we're gonna eat tonight with our lasagna, this Texas toast. And that's it for this haul. And I appreciate y'all for watching my haul. Okay, so Antoine wanted me to show you that he made up um, two of the beds. <laughs> That he made up two of the beds. I'm so proud of him. He he was like he always um they always clean their room and stuff. So I'm so proud of them. They always they see that their mom come in here and do all this work. So they try to make sure they keep their part of the um house clean. So I'm proud of them for that. And I've been teaching them how to clean and stuff. I've been teaching them a whole lot of different things. Trying to teach them a little like try to teach them how to like cook and stuff even though they're not going to be cooking cooking right now but i want to teach them early how to cook and how to use um different things around the house and just how to do a lot of things i just don't want to be those that type of mom that my kids don't know how to do anything like clean after themselves and you know fend for themselves like so when they get older they can take this with them Okay, so Ashley is about to do one of her assignments on freckle. Y'all excuse the cheese stuff on the table coming <laughs> from the food that we, got, we ate. So, excuse that. She's about to log in and do her own work, guys. This is a disaster. This is a straight disaster. And I'm finna clean this and clean this down here because it's not how I want it to be. I want my stuff to be organized and looking good and clean and fresh. So I'm gonna get this together and I'm gonna come back after I get done. Okay guys, so it was really hard deep cleaning this refrigerator, guys. It was really hard getting this stuff from out the refrigerator. So I'm gonna finish wiping this refrigerator down um, and I'm gonna clean up. I took like everything apart, let me show y'all. I took everything apart. I even took this apart, y'all, to clean it out. I'm going to clean the racks and everything because I'm very, I, you have to be very thorough when you clean out your refrigerator because it's food you eat and stuff and you want it to be clean. You don't want it to be a mess down. Listen, it was so hard taking this freaking draw out down here to clean it out, y'all. It was so darn hard to put it back in. Like, I was just so frustrated putting it back in. But this is how it's looking after. Everything is clean. And I got to clean over here on the side drawers next. Okay, so they are eating lunch right now. They're on lunch break. Um, grabbed a couple of hot and ready. Um, yeah. And this is the after, guys. And next, I'm gonna clean my freezer out. So behind me, I'm cleaning my cabinets out because it is a hot mess right here. So I'm gonna clean this out and organize it really good. And I'm gonna come back when it's organized and clean like it should be clean. All right, so this is the after, here's the first shelf right here. So I'm, I try to put like all my, mostly my dry ingredients up here, you know, like the um, powdered stuff, like such as, you know, the powdered drinks and flour and cornmeal and grits and rice and oatmeal and things and such like that that's what i try to do mostly on the top shelf okay so this is the middle shelf it's like the oil it's like the oil and the condiments you know aaron little toy um hey. right here is all like all the plastic and the onions marshmallows and potatoes and i'm still cleaning the bottom one so you guys won't see the bottom the bottom one all right guys so i'm i'm made some grits Y'all excuse that my baby over there um digging out the pot already. I'm about to yeah. make some I made some grits, some sausage, some eggs, and some um cinnamon rolls for them. I got to spread the icing on. But this is what we're eating for breakfast and I'm gonna come back after lunch. Alright, so um for dinner tonight we're gonna have some Alfredo pasta. Um that's the sauce, the noodles. We're gonna have sweet peas and crescent rolls. Okay, so we have mashed potatoes, chicken, gravy, 
and string beans and you see the chives back there in the cut 